Okay, go. So, um, right now, as you know, this the Marcus Garvey bookstore is um, facing eviction. Um, you know, they came through some family trouble and they had to file for bankruptcy and they had 60 days to come up with the money to pay it, buy off the house. It took them 65 days to do it. So the court ordered the property to be sold off and the speculators, the Splices actually purchased the property at $1.4, $1.6 million. Um, so the Johnsons of the bookstore actually offered them, you know, that amount plus another thousand as profit and the Splices refused. They wanted three point four million dollars for it. And so they've been going back and forth in negotiation. There was a press conference on Monday. We found out that the Splices, you know, not only it originally we thought they were gonna buy they said that they wanted it for their daughter. They wanted to buy a house for their daughter. You know, wow. some people get ponies, other people get Victorian homes. <laughs> um, so <laughs> apparently that's not the case. But what we, um, what we did end up doing, finding out, was that they own like two cab companies wow. and they actually are a part Ooh. of St. Nicholas Church. They're deacons. Oh, wow. And, you funny. know, so you would think that's, look, it's a Christian Orthodox church. And right. I think that I, I myself am not very spiritual or, or religious, but, mm -hmm. you know, they're definitely trying to profit off the misery of others. So what <laughs> we're doing today is that we're going to let our presence be known. We have already been passing out flyers that say, you know, um, we did this at Juneteenth. We've been having people call the Swices Realty Company because this is what they do. They flip houses. And so that's been happening. There's also been a large email blast um, that's been going through. But today what we're going to do is we're going to go into, we're going to participate in mass at 11 o'clock. We have these signs that Stardust can show everyone. And so people who are willing to go into mass, you would be there holding up this sign against your chest and going through the ritual of church. Okay. What kind of church? Yeah. It's Christian, but what is Christian Orthodox. Coptic. Coptic. Syrian. No, Egypt, like Egyptian. Oh, it's Oops. Syrian here. Oh, is it Syrian? Okay. Yeah. Um, um, I might go okay. We're obviously not at church ourselves, so we don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> so this is what's going to happen today. So we're just waiting for a few more people. Uh, and, you know, as when people come in, we want to brief them and we want to be respectful. There will be some of us outside actually passing out literature to their congregation. Um, and those are for the hardcore atheists <laughs> that <laughs> just don't feel comfortable being in church. But um, the idea is to go inside and do this. Okay. So is any who is comfortable going inside church? You'll be attending mass. Nothing. No, Archbishop. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>